He said, I'm an Egyptian Muslim. I want to marry a Brazilian Christian woman. And I know how to marry in law. I mean in the local law, according to the local law. But I need to be in the right Islamic way. I know it is permissible to marry a Christian uh, woman if she respects me. Is this correct? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this regard, والمحصنات من المؤمنات والمحصنات من الذين أوتوا الكتاب من قبلكم إذا آتيتمهن أجورهن This is an ayah of Surah Al-Ma'idah There have been many questions What is lawful for Muslims compared to what has been unlawful in, in the past and in previous nations Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says اليوم أحل لكم الطيبات Beginning of ayah number 5 Today all what is good has been lawful to you. وَطَعَامُ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ حِلُّ لَكُمْ The food of the people of the book and their meat is lawful for you to eat. وَطَعَامُكُمْ حِلُّ لَهُمْ And your food is lawful to them to eat. وَالْمُحْصَنَاتُ مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنَاتِ وَالْمُحْصَنَاتُ مِنَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابِ With regards to marriage, you're allowed to marry the chaste women of the believers. And the chaste women of the people of the book, Jews and Christians. So what is the condition here? There are two conditions. Ihsan and إِذَا آتَيْتُمُوهُنَّ أُجُورَهُنَّ مُحْصِنِينَ غَيْرَ مُسَافِحِينَ وَلَا مُتَّخِذِي أَخْدَانِ What does it mean? The second condition is pertaining to the dowry and make sure that your relationship is a legitimate marriage relationship, not a friendship, not a boyfriend and a girlfriend, not an outside marriage relationship. No. So the marriage will become permissible. If this Muslim woman is chaste, so what if she's not chaste? Then it is not permissible for you to marry her. She's uh, a dancer. She's working in a club. Uh, she's been involved in adultery and illicit relationship. And this is known. It's not permissible for you to marry her unless if she repented afterward. And the same condition applies to a woman who is either uh, a Jewish woman or a Christian woman. She must be chaste. Chastity means she knows the lawful and the unlawful with regards to the sexual relations and the relationship between men and women. So whenever a girl had a boyfriend and she just broke up with her boyfriend and she met this Muslim guy or she chatted with him online and they exchanged photos I love you, I love you, you look cute, you look sweet. Okay, I want to get married to you. Fine, let's get married. I'm going to fly you over and we'll get married and spend a few days in the hotel. This is not marriage. Because how do you know that she's chaste? So this condition applies not only to the Jewish or the Christian girl, but also to a Muslim girl. Well, muhsanatu. Many people read, they only focus on the ta of the feminine, ta, 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 the ta, which means the women of the people of the book. What about the word itself? The ta is describing feminine who are, you know, women who are chaste. Al Ihsan is a trait that can describe both men and women. So, muhsanat and also muhsinina, look. إِذَا آتَيْتُمُهُنَّ أُجُورَهُنَّ مُحْصِنِينَ غَيْرَ مُسَافِحِينَ With chastity, not having an illicit relationship, boyfriend and a girlfriend. So brother, if this woman is a chaste woman, you know, practicing her religion, church-going woman, and doesn't have any outside marriage affairs and so on, okay, it is permissible, but not advised. Now, if you want to take my advice, Definitely not advised. Why? That is explained by an ayah in Surah Al-Baqarah. I'm not saying it is haram. You got to be very careful with listening to what I'm saying. Allah says, if the woman is a chest, it is lawful. Why don't I advise such marriage? Because when you marry and this woman goes back to her country or you go back with her where you are the guest. And she is a citizen. It is very possible that you break up with her. And it is very possible that you die and she's pregnant. Or she has a child from you. Remains for us a very important question. 
what will be the fate of your child or your children in case of separation, in case that you were deported out of the country, or in case that you expired, and it is very possible, you know. Um, some people say, you should say, God forbid, and that was not going to happen. It's, it's happening all the time. It happens all the time, and the person has to be very cautious when making this decision. So when I marry, I look for a girl whose entire family is good. Why? Because in case if I die today, I'm not worried that, alhamdulillah, my in-laws are going to support my wife to raise my children properly. Even if she happens to remarry, she eventually she's going to marry a Muslim guy, right? From our culture, you know. So my children will remain as Muslims. Many youth do not look at this. They only look at the picture. They look at the beauty of the woman, and they're very beautiful. And then what? What is next? Think about the future for a while. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to what is best.